Welcome to another episode of The Functional Health Show. I'm your host, Sam Fury, and in today's episode, we dive into the fascinating world of nootropics. You might have heard them referred to as smart drugs or cognitive enhancers, but what exactly are they? And how do they work? Well, let's break it down. So, nootropics are substances that can boost brain function. They can be natural, like certain herbs and plant extracts, or synthetic, meaning they're made in a lab. The idea behind nootropics is to enhance things like memory, focus, creativity, and overall mental performance. The term nootropic was actually coined in 1972 by Dr. Cornelia E. Giorgia, a Romanian psychologist and chemist. He combined the Greek words for mind and to bend, basically describing substances that can bend or enhance the mind's capabilities. All right, let's talk about how nootropics work. They can affect the brain in a few different ways. One way is by boosting neurotransmitters. These are the chemicals that help transmit signals in the brain. Nootropics can increase levels of important neurotransmitters like dopamine, serotonin and acetylcholine, which are key for memory, mood and overall cognitive function. Another way nootropics work is by increasing blood flow to the brain. More blood flow means more oxygen and nutrients are getting to your brain, which helps it perform better. Some nootropics also promote something called neuroplasticity. This is the brain's ability to adapt and change in response to new information, experiences or damage. Supporting neuroplasticity can make it easier to learn and remember new things. Now, let's explore the types of nootropics. There are natural nootropics and synthetic ones. Natural nootropics include things like ginkgo biloba, bacopa monieri, rhodiola rosea and L-theanine. Ginkgo biloba is an ancient Chinese herb known for improving memory and concentration by increasing blood flow to the brain. Bacopa monieri is an herb used in traditional Ayurvedic medicine recognized for its memory-enhancing properties. Rhodiola rosea helps the body resist stress, improve mood and reduce fatigue. L-theanine, found in green tea, promotes relaxation and reduces anxiety without causing drowsiness. On the synthetic side, we have compounds like modafinil, pyrocetum, and other recetums. Modafinil was originally developed to treat narcolepsy and is known for improving wakefulness and focus. Pyrocetum is one of the first nootropics ever developed and is believed to enhance memory and learning by increasing the brain's neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Rice tams, a class that includes pyrocetum and anorecetum, are known for improving memory and learning capacity. So, what are the benefits and risks of nootropics? Let's start with the benefits. Nootropics can help improve memory, enhance focus and attention, stimulate creativity, boost mood, and increase mental stamina. Sounds pretty great, right? But, it's important to know that nootropics also come with potential risks and side effects, especially if used improperly. Common side effects can include insomnia, headaches, digestive issues, and mood swings. That's why it's crucial to consult with a healthcare provider before starting any nootropic regimen to avoid adverse effects and interactions with other medications. To use nootropics safely, start with natural options as they generally have fewer side effects and are safer for long-term use. Always consult a professional to help determine the best nootropic for your needs and to monitor for side effects. Follow dosage recommendations carefully and pay attention to how your body responds, making adjustments as necessary. In conclusion, nootropics offer exciting possibilities for enhancing cognitive function, memory and creativity. Whether you're looking for a natural boost or considering synthetic options, it's essential to approach nootropics with caution and knowledge. Understanding what nootropics are, how they work, and their potential benefits and risks can help you make informed decisions to support your mental performance. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Functional Health Show. If you found this episode useful, let me know with a like, follow, and share. Finally, if you haven't already, be sure to visit functionalhealthshow.com where you will find a ton of free information for improving your health as well as a step-by-step -step roadmap to help you adopt one small healthy habit at a time.